this space it looks like it's like some sort of collaborative pop-up so I don't know when you guys are seeing this if it'll still be around but I will have the address linked here usually smaller brands mean they're trying to be more sustainable that's what I found at least and pop-ups are a great way for like smaller internet brands to get exposure retail storefront life mission of Every New York trip in the future, don't spend $200 on a sweatsuit every time we're here, but that's kind of hard to do. said that they're doing a fully sustainable pop-up April May which is really cool so definitely come by this place if you guys are in the area this is a fully sustainable brand I'll let you guys do the reading and I love it it's just sustainability means a little bit expensive so you kind of really have to think about what you need which is kind of the whole point I guess but I do need black sweatpants so I think I might just I might just go for it guys saw my last New York shop with me video in this kind of style you would know that this is the part where I usually I usually haul what I got but as I have mentioned in many of my thrift with me videos my boyfriend loves to steal my sweatpants especially my expensive ones but I just thought I would pop in here and let you know that I'll be doing a haul for all the other stores but I did buy those black sweatpants we've both been sharing them and loving them so if the brand sees this video please send my boyfriend some sweatpants he uh we love them so, can you model my pants, please? Since uh, you decided to show up in my pants, can you model them, please? Black sweatpants. I know, but just show them. Baggy Billie Eilish sweatpants, what do you want? And, um, <laughs> these are my socks that I, uh, haven't seen in seven years. Whatever. We left Toronto to get rid of the bad weather, but, you know, maybe it not. found us, so. But I'll come for a week or two. They have men's, for those of you that didn't know. Oh, I love this cardigan. I am here for the jeans today. We're gonna try this one. Well, I wanna try on jeans because jeans are like the hardest thing ever to order online, but I've heard really good things about them. So we have the 90s. Cheeky jean. So I have on the cardigan, which is so soft. I know this is like pretty sold out online, but for reference, this is a medium. I wish it was a small or like even an extra small because I'm used to like crop things. Filthy. And these are the jeans. I tried them on in A25. For some reason, cheeky jeans never actually look cheeky on me. <laughs> no, 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 no. They didn't have the little cashmere set that I really wanted, so I just started yelling. <laughs> I'll put it up here on the screen. I really want to try it on, but they didn't have it in store. So Annie kind of told me last time she was here they didn't have a lot of the things in the store, which is too bad because if you're investing, you kind of want to try things on. But I will link some of my favorite things that I love that I've recently got from them online. Things you can definitely order without kind of knowing your exact size. Okay, so the hat came on because it's pouring rain outside. So we took cover in Converse. Um, just by coincidence. And this wall behind me is actually all their recycled shoes. So we love a brand that's, you know, trying to repurpose, reuse all the materials that they can. You guys know I love a platform. So these colors are so fun, especially for spring. So 
so we came here last time if you guys watched my last new york shop with me video i will have that linked up here we're at the vintage twin this isn't a vintage thrifting video that's actually already up so if you want to see 24 hours thrifting in new york I'll have that linked over here, but I'm in desperate need of denim shorts. I've literally been trying to thrift a pair for so long and I stupidly sold like my perfect pair. These are actually fitting really, really nicely. I like the like longer fit, makes me feel more my age, minus the scrunchie and the neon green top, but super, super comfortable. And everything is super nice and curated here. So if you guys need denim, anything like that, definitely check it out. I'm gonna try it on these in the meantime. Thing, it's too big. It's working. Welcome to a sunny day in New York, you guys. We're not on the sun side. We are in Brooklyn now, and there's two stores that I really want to share with you guys. I've actually never been to Brooklyn, but I feel like I could live here. Should we move? Temporarily. Maybe. <laughs> we found our building. Yeah, we found our building. So we're headed to Bagu right now, you guys. I literally just had my Bagu at the Goodwill Outlets. And I've been carrying my Bagus everywhere. They're amazing. They're a great reusable bag company and they come in like such fun, cute patterns. So we might just need to pick another one up today. I will show you what that looks like. And then we're going to a really cool sustainable boutique after that, this dog. Hi. <laughs> The Mecca. We have found it. Oh, there's a new one. <gasps> They're so funny. Uh, it's this one, I think. Oh, cool. And then this one. I love Do you that have one. that one? No, I don't, but I like it. This one's cool, too. The machine washable, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, you can wash it and dry the nylon bags. Oh, there's a denim one. Oh, there's a couple of denim ones. So as you guys can see, they have bags in like all different sizes, textures, the denim is really cool. These are really cute and convenient too. This is kind of like what I'm carrying right now. So convenient. I need this in my life. I've been buying everything this color and I feel like, I feel like it's a needed addition. wondering at this point in the video, Sarah, did you just forget to do the hauls or were you being extremely good with your wallet? And surprisingly, the second option is correct. I recently got some baggies for Christmas. You guys probably have seen them in my thrift with me videos. I'm gonna have those like classic ones linked down below. But guys, clearly I've been feeling like a grape. This is even really grape though. I don't even know how to describe this purple, but it's like my favorite happy color. When I saw this one on sale, I just had to grab it. It is so freaking cute. When I tell you guys that I have been using this bag for the gym, to carry my camera stuff, to carry extra outfits, like literally everywhere, every single day, this was 100% worth it. I can't remember the exact price, but it was very affordable considering how much wear I'm getting out of it. And it also comes with this little pouch on the inside, which is nice just in case you wanna conceal like your wallet, your, I was gonna say iPod. Like what era am I living in? I need to stop buying this color or else I'm just gonna look like a big purple blob walking around the streets of Toronto. Apparently we walked past the little boutique that I want to go to. Let me hide the darkness. There we go. But we're Ubering there now because I think it's worth checking out. Hopefully it is. very nice in here. Ooh, they have Rolla's jeans. Okay, so this is an amazing store. Already in love. Haha. -ha. This is so cute. Kind of like the one I just got on thread up though, but I love it. The tan lines in my room because I miss summer. So oh wait, much. that's yeah, that's not really good. 
Mm, yeah. That's, that's nice. <gasps> Mm. That hit different. It, did, it, did it hit different. How much are these? Do I need a forty-seven dollar candle? They hit different though. <laughs> it's sweatsuit time. I'll let you in on a secret. Conference call. <laughs> We're addicted to sweatsuits. Yeah, Shocker! <laughs> if no one's realized by this point in the video. <laughs> to be fair, we are all lucky enough to work from home, so it's like our. Actual it's our investment. It's you our work. Uniform. It's fine. Honestly, it's fine. Oh my god, that's a great name for a hypey sweatsuit brand. Funny. Yeah. That's actually really funny. That's a really good thing. It's already inside. I'm just gonna chill in this orb. Is that what you would call it? Alright guys, so this is the last stop on the New York sustainable tour. Honestly, I spent way too much money. But again, these are pieces I'm gonna have for life, so. We are currently at Nordstrom, the one that is on 57th, I believe, and they have a pop-up. It's the new concept pop-up, and it's the entire world collection, so if you guys haven't heard of it, I'm gonna have the stuff linked down below. It's like really, really nice basics in super fun colors, like, I kinda think I need it all. So we're about to do something very extra and each buy a sweatsuit and take a picture in it. This is the woman's stuff. But honestly, I'm just a bigger fan of men's. This is super cute though. Just look at the colors. The sustainable brands get it right, the colors, honestly. I like the blue, but I just feel like I'll wear this more. So we started with the sweatsuit slash just the sweatpants. And of course, we have to end off with a sweatsuit. So you guys might be wondering like, why, why all the sweatsuits, Sarah? And what I've realized with most sustainable brands is that they really specialize in classics, basics, and athleisure wear. I'm not like the sustainable expert here. I don't have a completely sustainable life, but I know that it is pretty easy to produce sustainable cotton or materials that kind of emulate cotton. So hence why you're getting a lot of those types of items. Sustainability is kind of just like buying what you need. So sweatpants, people need them. Me, I need like 20 pairs. <laughs> Basics, t-shirts, that kind of stuff are gonna get worn a lot more than like a froofy, frilly dress or like a trendy pair of pants or something like that. So it makes sense that a lot of these brands Kind of focus on those items and also order these pieces online because I know that they're only available at some Nordstrom stores. I picked up the men's set. I had to get the sweatpants in a medium. Unfortunately, they're a little big, but again, perfect for my boyfriend. And then I grabbed the men's crew neck and I grabbed the crew neck in a size small and they fit me pretty perfectly. I love this color of blue. I think it looks so cute together and the quality of this brand is impeccable. It's a little bit more affordable than the first brand that I showed and a little bit easier to access. So if you're looking for a good sweatsuit, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Their basics were also pretty affordable. I picked up this little black tank because I was in need of just like a simple black tank top. It's kind of got that higher 90s neckline, which I think is super flattering. And I believe this one was around like only $20. And that is the haul. So even though I didn't buy that much, I do feel broke because sustainability is a lot more expensive than going to your typical fast fashion stores. But you know what? I feel like I really truly invested. I'm gonna have these pieces for a super long time. So if you guys like these types of videos and you wanna see them when I go to different areas, I'm headed to Miami, hopefully LA sometime soon, and I could even do one in my lovely hometown of Toronto. Please let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next video. And that's a wrap. Thank you.